Hi, this is Neil Good from the Good Law Group. Today I'm going to be talking about what not to say in a social security law. The first thing I would tell you is don't volunteer anything. This is not really a chance for you to tell your story. It's really a chance to confirm the limitations in your medical records. Don't run off and keep talking about stuff that the judge doesn't want to hear. They get upset. Another thing is, answer the questions you're asked. So when I'm preparing clients, one of the things I tell them is, how do you answer this question? Do you know what time it is? The answer to that question is yes, not the time. So understand what you're answering before you answer. Don't give the wrong answers, okay? If you're not sure what to answer, ask a question about the question. It's also important that you understand what disability is. So disability is not physically or mentally being able to work. So some examples of things that you shouldn't say is, I cannot get to work. I cannot do that job because it's too far away. I cannot do that job because it doesn't pay enough money. It's our burden to prove that you're physically or mentally not able to work. Another thing that people say all the time is, that job just doesn't pay enough money for me to survive, so I can't really uh, take a job like that. This is not about whether you can accept the job. Another thing that you should understand is this is public disability, not private disability. So the difference is with private disability, all you have to do is prove you can't do your last job. With public disability, it's you can't do any job. So the fact that you can't do your past job doesn't really matter. That's just part of the process, proving you can't do your past job. Another thing you should be aware of is your representative or attorney cannot answer questions for you. So you should be prepared in advance to answer the questions. Hopefully your attorney will, before court, go over the questions they would expect you to be able to answer. And basically, it should generally be questions about your past work, about your limitations, your diagnosis, and what you typically can do. At the end of the hearing, typically the judge is called a vocational expert. This is a person whose job it is to answer hypothetical questions from the judge and your attorney. So I've had clients interrupt while the judge is asking questions or while they're answering. Don't interrupt. You know, when we were doing hearings and the clients were next to me, sometimes they could pass me a note if they had a question about it or whisper in my ear. But these are fairly complicated things that are going on and it's hard to keep track of what, what they're saying. Don't get trapped into saying, I could do that job. So what am I talking about? I've seen judges say, well, if I gave you a job where you could sit or stand at will, could you do that job? Or they try and alter your job in a way that makes it seem like you could do it. The way to answer the question is, I can't do that job because of whatever the limitation is that limits you. Another thing that I've seen a judge do is he said, what if you were paid $2 million a year to do this job? Could you do the job? So don't even say I would try. You have to explain why you cannot do the job. The last thing I want to talk about is don't say things that you did to help win your case. So one of the things that comes to my mind is, and this I guess was my fault because I didn't tell the client this, I had a client who the first time she called me, she was crying and all upset that she had been seeing a psychologist and a psychiatrist and she told me she stopped. And I said to her, you can't win a disability case without seeing a psychiatrist or a psychologist if you're claiming depression or anxiety. So what she does is she finds a psychiatrist and a psychologist and she tells them, my attorney told me I need to see a psychiatrist or a psychologist to win my disability case. So even though that's true, think of how it looks at court. Okay. Another issue that I would say you have to be aware of how to answer is if you've been out of town, a lot of judges ask, have you been out of town for any reason? And the first thing you should remember is most people before they go out of town who are disabled, they discuss this with their doctors. So it's probably in your medical records. So, you know, don't, don't say you haven't been out of town if you've been out of town because it's there. Okay. So don't, you know, I mean, so what you want to do is you want to explain why the trip was difficult. You had to clear it with your doctor first, you stayed at a relative's and you didn't uh, go out at all. You know, I had a client once come in and she said, this is a month before her court hearing. She said, 
I'm in a wheelchair. My sister wants to take me on a cruise. Is that okay if I go on a cruise? I said, well, put yourself in the judge's shoes. You have somebody coming in front of you saying that they're so disabled they can't work, and you're going to go into her courtroom and say, oh, I just got back from a two-week vacation, two-week cruise with my sister. Thank you for watching. These were just a few of the examples of problems and things you should try not to do in a social security hearing. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at the information below. Thank you.